Welcome, everyone. From the desert. Bringing you desert faith at desertbedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a Discourse by Saint Athanasius, Bishop, on the Incarnation of the Word. The Word of God, incorporeal, incorruptible, and immaterial, entered our world. Yet, it was not as if he had been remote from it up to that time. For there is no part of the world that was ever without his presence. Together with his Father, he continually filled all things and all places. Out of his loving kindness for us, he came to us, and we see this in the way he revealed himself openly to us, taking pity on mankind's weakness and moved by our corruption. He could not stand aside and see death have the mastery over us. He did not want creation to perish and his father's work in fashioning man to be in vain. He therefore took to himself a body. No different from our own. For he did not wish simply to be in a body or only to be seen. Within the Virgin, he built himself a temple, that is, a body. He made it his own instrument in which to dwell and to reveal himself. In this way, he received from mankind a body like our own. And 
since all were subject to the corruption of death. He delivered this body over to death for all. and with supreme love offered it to the Father. He did so to destroy the law of corruption passed against all men, since all died in him. The law, which had spent its force on the body of the Lord, could no longer have any power over his fellow men. Moreover, this was the way in which the word was to restore mankind to immortality. After it had fallen into corruption and summon it back from death to life. He utterly destroyed the power death had against mankind. As fire consumes chaff by means of the body, he had taken and the grace of the resurrection. In death, the Word made a spotless sacrifice and oblation of the body He had taken. By dying for others, He immediately banished death for all mankind. The corruption of death no longer holds any power over mankind thanks to the Word who has come to dwell among them through his one body. From the desert. With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.